transportation of concrete part 3 dumpers and belt conveyor method first let's have a look at the dumpers dumpers are generally used for large concrete works particularly for concrete to be placed at ground level the capacity of dumpers is usually of 2 to 3 cubic meters sometimes for huge concreting works dumpers are replaced with trucks or ordinary lorries which has a capacity up to 6 cubic meters or more. The body of the dumper should be wetted with water before loading with the concrete. In truck transportation, the concrete should be covered with the tarpaulins or other covers before transit to prevent evaporation. If the location is long, it is preferred to use agitators to prevent concrete from segregation and stiffening. The dumpers are commonly employed for road construction and for factory floor construction. Belt Conveyors Belt conveyors have rarely adopted method of concrete transportation technique. The rare usage of this method is due to the concrete is likely to segregate on steep inclines, at transfer points, or change in the directions and at the points where the belt passes over the rollers. And also as the concrete is exposed over long stretches, it is likely to dry and stiffen during transportation particularly in hot, dry or windy weather conditions. In these type of places, for safe transportation, it is necessary to cover the belt conveyor arrangement. The end of the belt conveyor system should be such that it removes all the mortar from the belt and prevents segregation. In this type of transportation, it is necessary to do second level mixing at the end of delivery before placing the concrete. This type of transportation is mainly used in places where access to concreting location is limited. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.